Hi, my name is Henry Heisenbuttle. I am a graduate student at Montclair State University. Today, I would like to talk to you about one of the most influential and important instruments ever created that you have probably never heard of. I am speaking, of course, about the Fender Rhodes. The Fender Rhodes was created by Harold Rhodes during World War II. The idea for this beautiful instrument came about when Rhodes was asked to provide therapy for wounded soldiers. Before the war, Harold was a piano teacher. So, a piano that wounded soldiers could learn to play in their beds was an obvious conclusion for Rhodes. Using aluminum piping from a B-17 bomber, Rhodes crafted a 2.5 octave toy suitcase piano with regular sized keys. It was a huge success, and thousands were produced. After the war, Harold Rhodes was awarded the Medal of Honor for his therapeutic achievements. And in fact, in the Air Corps manual, you can find his method described. The Fender Rhodes is an electric piano, which, contrary to popular belief, is different from a digital keyboard. The key difference between electric pianos and digital keyboards is that electric pianos have working parts on the inside. Let's take a look under the lid. Like an acoustic piano, the Fender Rhodes has keys which move hammers, but that is where the similarities end. The hammers do not strike strings, but rather they strike thin metal tines that are amplified via an electromagnetic pickup and plugged into an external amplifier or speaker. This gives the Fender Rhodes its very distinct sound which can be described as cool and glassy, or warm and punchy with a growl or bite. It all depends on how hard or how soft you hit the keys. It also has a built-in vibrato feature. The Fender Rhodes was most popular in the 1970s, and one of its most notable players was Ray Manzarek from the American rock and roll band The Doors. The Doors did not have a bass player, so their keyboard player, Ray Manzarek, played a Fender bass piano on his left hand, and a Vox Continental combo organ on his right hand. Manzarek is quoted in saying, If Mr. Rhodes hadn't created the keyboard bass, the Doors would never have existed. That's my terrible impression of Ray Manzarek. The Rhodes was used by other notable artists, such as Miles Davis, Herbie Hancock, and even Billy Preston, who played keyboard for a little band you may have heard of, uh, The Beatles, as well as Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder, Donald Fagan from Steely Dan, and many, many more. It is safe to say that the Fender Rhodes has left its mark on music. And now that you know what it is and what it sounds like, I encourage you to keep your ears open for it. Thank you.